Hi, and welcome back to another Stampin' on Friday episode. Today's card is going to be um, a card that holds a gift card. So um, first thing I thought I would do is show you all the supplies I'm going to be using um, to work on today's card. First thing is our pattern paper, and it comes from the Sidewalks October Afternoon um, 8x8 paper pad. And October Afternoon is my absolute all-time favorite uh, paper. I, ever, I love the... I probably said this a thousand times, but I love um, every single one of these collections. So this is the Sidewalks, and I love the colors in here. Perfect for summer cards, um, even some maybe Easter and spring, um, and I think also great for birthday cards. So I'm going to be using this paper collection. I'm also going to be using a whole bunch of different uh, Jenny Bolin inks. Well, four, really. I'm going to use Chewing Gum. Speckled egg, stick candy, and brown sugar. And then I'm also going to be using some distress inks. So I'm going to use old paper. This is the Tim Holtz distress ink, along with a foam applicator. And then for my stamp sets, they're both paper tray ink. The first one is this Banner Builders stamp set. And the other one I'm going to be using is called Wonderful Whimsical, which I used in a um, different. Uh, Stampin' on Friday episode, but I'm just going to use this one for some sentiments in here. And then you're going to need two circle punches. I have one and a quarter and one and a half inch. And then I also have um, some cardstock. This is the Vintage Cream Paper Tray Ink Vintage Cream. It's cut at five and a half by eleven inches. And then I'm also using, um, I'm not going to really, I already have it die cut, but this double end banner from Paper Tray Ink. I already have it die cut in the Vintage Cream, but I did use this in my um, in my project. And then I'm also going to use some different adhesives and uh, some buttons and stuff like that. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and start uh, scoring my cardstock. So I'm just going to get my score buddy. And the first score line is going to be at two and a half inches. So I'm going to go ahead and do that score line. And then I'm going to go ahead and pick my paper up and just flip it over and do a score line at four and a quarter inches. So I'm done with my score buddy, so I'll just put that away. And then I'll fold my cardstock. I'm gonna need my, my bone folder here. So I'm gonna fold my cardstock, and then I'm gonna take my bottom flap here and fold that in. Just like that. And this will be my card. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to take a piece of the pattern paper and this measures two and a quarter inches by five and a quarter inches. And I'm going to use my one and a half inch circle punch and right in the center I'm just going to go ahead and punch out a circle or a half circle really. So I'm going about halfway into the punch. And I want to make sure I'm pretty center on the paper. I'm going to use my adhesive to adhere this down. And that's going to be centered right here in the center of my flap. Just like that. And then I'm going to take my one and a quarter inch punch and then doing the same thing about halfway in and in the center. going to go ahead and punch that out. And I wasn't really centered there, so I'm just going to try to fix that. That's pretty close. It wasn't perfect. I'm sure there was an easier way to do it, but of course I didn't do it the easy way. Um, so I'm going to use my ATG gun. I don't usually use my ATG gun in videos because the thing is so big, but I'm going to go ahead and seal um, this up. And I'm going to do a line of adhesive on this side, a line of adhesive right on this, right before the score line on the flap, so right there, and then one on the other side. And I'm going to leave the top part um, opened. So I like to use my ETG gun because it's got a really good adhesive, you know, it adheres really well. So this forms the little pocket that I can use to stick my gift card in. So I'll just show you, I have a gift card 
a used gift card sitting here and it holds it in nicely. So that's why I adhere it on both sides and on the bottom so that it doesn't go all the way down into the card. So that'll be where the gift card will go. And now for the front of the card, I'm just going to go ahead and set this aside. So this piece measures um, four and a half by three and a quarter. And I'm going to go ahead and using my Banner Builder set here, I'm going to go ahead and start stamping my image here. So I'm going to use this stamp right here that forms the little um, like string that will hold my banner. So I'm just going to set that down and I'm going to grab my block. And I'm going to stamp this right up towards the top of my card. And of course it helps if you put the stamp on your card or your block the right way. I had it upside down. So that'll go right across the front of here. And I actually want it to curve a little bit more. So that looks pretty good. So I'm going to use the brown sugar ink for this one. I stamp that right up here towards the top. Just like that. And now for the banner part, I'm going to go with these longer banner pieces. So I'm going to use these three pieces right here, as well as the outline. And I'm going to start off with, um, let's see, I think I'm going to do the striped one first. So that's this one. And I'm going to do that will be right in the center. So I'm going to use stick candy for that one. So that'll go right there. And then I'm going to start building out from there. So I have this little polka dot one. Stick that on my block. I'm going to use the speckled egg. And I'm going to do two stamps on this one. I'm going to do one on this side of the green. And then one on the other side. And the next one I'm going to do in the chewing gum. And I'm not really, I'm kind of doing this a little whimsical. I'm not really care if I'm lining it up perfectly or, or not. So there we go. And now I'm going to take the outline of that stamp and use the brown sugar and stamp the outline. And I am going to do these a little off-center. I don't really need to line it up perfectly. Okay. So those are two pieces. Now this also, the Banner Builder set, also comes with these cute little um, little tassels and of course I need to figure out how to open my stamp case and these little stitch lines. So I'm going to take the little stitch first and I'll put that right onto my block. It's an awfully big block for that little piece but that's okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and just put these little kind of X's on each side of the banner. And the other piece that's in here is the little tassels that can hang off of these. Now I'm not going to do all of them. I think I'm just going to do maybe the center one in, um, I think I'll do it in the chewing gum. I might go through and do them all. I'm not really sure. I think I will just do this one because it's the kind of the focal. So I'm just going to stamp that on either side. The next piece I'm going to do is the um, double end banner and I'm going to do the outline for this. I'll use chewing gum and I'm going to mount this right onto my block. Or brown sugar, not chewing gum, brown sugar ink. 
and I'm going to go ahead and just stamp this on. And then I'll go ahead and do my sentiment, which comes from the um, wonderful, wonderful whimsical set. And I'm going to do, let's see, the happy. I'll do brown sugar and chewing gum for this one. So I'm going to start off with my happy sentiment. So I'm just going to do happy. And then birthday I will do in chewing gum. And then I have day. And I'm just sticking my stamps onto my um, CD case. I'll just go back later on and clean them off. So we'll do day. So happy birthday. Put the lids back on our ink. And now the next thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and ink up all of my pieces using the old paper Distress Ink. So I'll start off with my stamped piece right here and I'm just going right along the edges. Okay, so I went ahead and inked all of my pieces. I'm going to start by putting down my pattern paper. This measures, um, let's see, it's four and three quarter by three and a half. And I'm just going to go ahead and adhere that directly to my card base. That'll go right in the center. And then this is my stamped image. That'll go right on the front of there. And I'm going to use some Stampin' Up! Dimensionals on the back. It'll go right in the center of my pattern paper. And then I also have this piece, my banner piece, which is going to go right off the side of here, but I forgot to cut that down. So let me just grab my scissors and quickly cut this off. I wanted to cut it off so it was even with this piece right there. And then I have to ink up that edge of that one too. And then I'll also use the dimensionals on the back of this. So that'll go right across the side from the side of my stamped piece. It's coming off just like that. And then the last thing I want to do is just add a couple buttons. And I already went ahead and took some paper tray ink buttons. I think these are ripe avocado and tied some twine on them. And I just stuck them right to my glue dots so I didn't lose them. And that's going to go right on each side of my banner. And that's my card for today. Thanks for watching another episode of Creations with Christina.